One of my favorite periods in high school was lunch period. You could unwind with your friends, eat some styrofoam flavored mashed potatoes and gravy. It was great. Problem is, the lunchroom can be a period of lonely torture for some kids. Now, one team is trying to change all that with new friends on an app. Here's Allie Ward to explain. Natalie Hampton is 16 years old, and today she sketches for fun. But just a couple of years ago, drawing seemed like the only way she could give voice to the pain she was feeling after two years of being bullied at school. Throughout my seventh grade year, it started with little things, like people began to ditch me as a joke, and um, people would kind of shove me in passing, or every time I'd tried to join a lunch table, I would get the same line as in Mean Girls, like, you can't sit with us. It may not seem like a lot at first, but when that was happening every day, the cumulative effect started to destroy my self-esteem and my self-confidence. That's when Natalie says the physical attacks began, depicted in her diary. I became very afraid to go to school. I developed health problems because of that that put me in the hospital, and I just became kind of a shell of myself. Two years later, Natalie switched to a new school where bullying was not tolerated and where she felt she had a voice again. I realized that it didn't have to be that way. And so that's when I really started thinking about how I could give back. I wanted to take all my pain and suffering from the first two years and bring it into something that could help prevent that from happening to other kids out there. And so that's why I created Sit With Us. <laughs> Sit With Us app is designed to promote kindness and inclusion in schools and has an estimated 100,000 users so far. I went to Los Angeles, California to meet Natalie and to hear how she turned her adversity into an altruistic app. Where did you first start working on it? Did you start with designs? Did you start learning how to code? I definitely started with the designs. It was mostly a pen and paper thing at first, and I started storyboarding out the graphic design and the functions and how I wanted each page to look, and then we went through hundreds of versions until we have the app version that we have today. Let's see it. So as soon as you open it, you start a profile, kind of like any other social media page. And then from there, you're given the choice to sign a pledge. And if you sign the pledge, it says that you'll post where you're sitting from time to time and that anyone who tries to join your table will be welcome. Here's the pledge. I believe that no one should have to eat alone at lunch and I want to promote a school community that is warm and inclusive for everyone. I will make anyone who joins feel welcome and include him or her in the conversation. So who wrote the pledge? Um, I wrote it. It was definitely something that I wanted to add my thoughts to, and it's the first thing that people see when they sign up, and so I wanted to make sure it encompassed everything that the app was about. So let's say I liked horses and volleyball and the stock market or something. <laughs> <laughs> I could put those interests on my bio, and then if there was a table talking about one or all of those things, they could just say, okay, yeah, come over here. Yeah, definitely. If you go to the search page, it'll have a list view of all the lunches that are happening right at that lunch period. Do you feel that the creative process and the business aspects of making Sit With Us helped you work through some of the trauma? It almost felt like I was like a superhero fighting back at all the bad stuff that happened to me and there was something I could use to help combat that and to help other kids from going through the same thing. And so it definitely was almost therapeutic to help create this app. Right, it sounds like it's the definition of empowering. Did you go to your parents and say, you guys, <laughs> I wanna make an app? Yeah, and that was definitely a pretty funny discussion because they probably thought I was a crazy person for wanting to achieve something so far-fetched. But they were super supportive from day one and helped connect me with the coder that I work side-by-side -side with and helped me make this a reality. A reality that might be a dream come true for every child who just wants to hear, sit with us.